And after 46 years, the Election Commission has started the process, or the historic work rather, of delimitation in Assam. The process will be based on census data from 2001. The main objective of delimitation is to provide equal representation to equal segments of a population. Delimitation of constituencies is periodically carried out to reflect not only an increase in population, but changes in its distribution and better represent various administrative units. Now, the state government says that delimitation will give rights to the indigenous people of Assam. The move comes after the Assam government has assured the center that there would be no law and order problems following the commencement of the delimitation exercise. Now, the opposition claims that it's an attempt to shrink the minority constituencies to give advantage to the BJP. Listen into the water reports. See, delimitation process was uh, demanded by earlier also, and it is uh, very essential for the um, state like Assam because, as you can see, uh, we are sharing um, a border with other countries also. So delimitation was uh, it was essential for the people of Assam, and as you can see, uh, for the rationalisation of the voters also delimitation was very essential because as you can see in Dispur constituency there is more than four lakhs, nearing to four lakhs voters. In Thara constituency there is only eight to. Uh, 80 to 1 lakh voters. In my constituency, Palasbury constituency, 1 lakh 50,000 voters, but in Boko constituency, there are more than 2 lakh voters. So, for the rationalization of the voters, the redefinition process was very essential. Actually, this move in 2024, I think this move is not a clear intention of the BJP because the BJP want to do the 2026 election, parliamentary election, they have used this uh, delimitation issue and in favor of the BJP. So ultimately they are trying to do. So it is uh, the, the delimitation will be held on the 2001 census. So ultimately it is very ambiguous because uh, it should be reflect on 2011 census, I think, uh, due to COVID, 2021 census has not happened. So in my question is very clear that BJP is, uh, again, it is politicized these issues again uh, in, in, favor of the, in favor of the government. You're watching the news hour at nine. Debate number two on Times Now. Super Prime Time. Listeners across to our guests, joining us with us is Rupam Goswami of the BJP. Abhijit Ayer, Mitra political analyst, continues to be with us, as does Tessin Punawala. But I first and foremost want to go across to Partha Pratim Bora of the AGP. Uh, and of course, we also have with us Champak Kalita of the AIDF. Champak Kalita coming to you first. And let me ask you, sir, a simple point is this, that you may, party may want that everything happens as per the 2011 census. But the rules are very clear. And what the election commission's position is that the constitution specifies that it is the last census that has been held. And in this case, it is 2001. So if there is no census of 2021, how can you demand the 2011 census be imposed? That's something that is clearly not acceptable as per the constitutional provisions. Champa Kalita. <coughs> First of all, I'm not uh, comfortable in English. That's yeah, please go ahead. Well, you can answer in whatever language you're comfortable, sir. Okay. Okay. Look, जो आपने बोला कि ये 2001 को अगर आप डिमांड कर रहे हैं डिमांड नहीं कर रहे और बाहर हर हम लोग एआईयूटीएफ ऑफिशियली इसका मुखालिफत भी नहीं कर रहे लेकिन हम लोग का सदित तहफुजात है सदित आपका इसमें हम लोग का खर्चा है क्योंकि आपने जो बोला ना कि मायने नहीं रखता 2001 से तो इसीलिए हम कह रहे हैं कि रेशनलाइज़ ही करना है तो 2001 का सेंसास और 2021 का नहीं हो पाया कोविड के कारण ये आपका 20 साल 20 साल में तो पापुलेशन शायद हम लोग का एक पुर एक ऑलमोस्ट एक पुरु का डिफरेंस ही आ जाएगा और पहली बात और दूसरी बात 26 में ऑल इंडिया में आपका होना ही है डिलिमिटेशन जहां सिर्फ एक इलेक्शन, एक एमपी इलेक्शन 2024 का और 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 एक एमएलए इलेक्शन 2026 का इसी दो एक इलेक्शन के इसीलिए ये सबको देखके हुए हम लोग चंपक कलिता जी तो आपका लॉजिक है अगर अगर 46 इयर्स से नहीं हुआ है तो और 6 इयर्स डिले 4 इयर्स डिले कर दो 50 इयर्स हो जाने दो है ना थोड़ा सा ही तो लेट होगा चार साल ही तो लेट होगा क्या फर्क पड़ता है ये लॉजिक है आपने आप चीजों को समझे अगर 26 में नहीं होना है तो ठीक है अगर आप सर 46 इयर्स इसे लॉन्ग टाइम 46 इयर्स इसे लॉन्ग टाइम आपको लगता नहीं है 46 इयर्स लंबा समय है डिलिमिटेशन करने के लिए जो हर 10 साल में होना चाहिए जो चीज हर 10 साल में होना चाहिए वो चीज 46 इयर्स से नहीं हुआ और आप कह रहे हैं और डिले कर दो 
नहीं 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 कमाल का लॉजिक है सर कि नहीं छब्बीस में कर रहे हैं कि नहीं सर 26 में अगर 46 सिक्स ईयर्स का डिले हो सकता है तो 26 में भी होगा क्या गारंटी है सर 26 में ऑल नहीं नहीं ये तो होना है हम लोग हम लोग कहां डिलेमिनेशन का मुखालिफत कर रहे हैं हम लोग ये कह रहे हैं कि अगर 26 में होना ही है तो एक चुनाव के लिए इतना बड़ा प्रैक्टिस रूपम गोस्वामी रूपम गोस्वामी अगर छब्बीस में होना ही है तो एक इलेक्शन के लिए क्यों इतना एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हैं क्यों इतना खर्चा हो रहा है Now, actually, we should understand the logic behind the delimitations. This is a long-pending uh, issues, the democratic uh, exercise, uh, because uh, last in Assam, 19, uh, it has uh, happened in 1976 on the basis of 1971. Uh, 1971. So, uh, this is a pending because in all India level, except the uh, five states of the India, uh, all have these delimitations. so because of the pending issues uh, this is a democratic uh, process uh, which is left for assam mizoram nagaland and other uh, states uh, Jom including jammu and kashmir so definitely we have to uh, clear the backlog so we have to clear the backlog this is important so uh, i don't know what sampokali ji wanted to say and definitely i don't think so the in delimitations it is totally and then whether eci and uh, definitely all political party has the uh, right to say uh, whatever they wanted to speak so let the draft came then they will came to know what is happening and i think it should happen and well, the announcement has happened the announcement has happened certain uh, certain terms certain specifics have not yet been announced but there's in puna wala when political parties come out to say there should be an all party meeting there should be more consultation well the constitution is very clear on delimitation exercise the powers rest with the election commission the process has been followed the law ministry is written to the election commission the process has been initiated the notification in fact came out earlier as we very well know it was first jammu and kashmir and now it's assam is just the process no. of correcting something that has been historically pending for 46 long years no the election commission is duty bound duty bound to call an all party meeting it's duty bound it cannot act in a whimsical manner the law minister is not the master of the election commission neither is the honorable prime minister the election commission is a constitutional is a constitutional body by itself the law minister cannot order the election commission it is a neutral body that itself shows that a law minister ordered and and that itself uh, sets the seal of doubt that the law minister ordered something and they've gone ahead and carried it out i'm sorry they don't take orders from the law minister neither from the honorable prime minister point number 2 2001 is an arbitrary date 2011 there was a national census on the floor of parliament shri rajnath singh ji then the home minister of india on the floor of lok sabha i'm talking about 2018 said the 2011 census will now be used as a barometer for all further uh, deliberations he said this on the floor of house was the then honorable home minister misleading parliament okay answer these questions okay okay abhijit ayer mitra would you like to respond to those two points made by tahsin pura wala i'm going to comment on those two points but i want you to respond first look <laughs> the election commission is in duty bound to hold a consultation it is uh, preferable if they do but i'm yet to see a process document that says it is uh, it has to do it before uh, uh, notifying delimitation uh, if they seen actually had the document uh, saying this uh, I, i certainly would like to see it second remember this is the first delimitation that's happened delimitation has happened several times in this country before uh and i really don't see i mean i can take a uh, 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 you know objection to it being a south indian where the north has a much higher population rate and it, it keeps uh, increasing its lead over the south uh, in terms of uh, electoral seats where we're actually punished for uh, uh, being model citizens uh but other than that what exactly is the problem here you know i i understand what uh, champakta was trying to say but my issue here is you know population trends okay. as a rule right tend to continue statistically evenly across societies right the only thing that could possibly change is the urban rural balance and there uh, uh, you know as far as the ai utf is concerned they should be welcoming it because uh, india is likely much more urban in 2021 uh, right. than it was in 2001 or uh, 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 2011. Right. So you know it. 
I'm actually seeing a process that is helping everybody here. But Absolutely. And in fact, on that note, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt you there over there uh, for just a minute, Abhijit, because I want to ask Tessin a simple question. Tessin, when is the last time delimitation was held in Assam? And who was, this who was the prime minister here at the center? The Congress government, 46 yes, years ago. Yes, it was Indira Gandhi during the process Indira of Indira Gandhi, yeah. So is this yeah. logic of all parties being consulted, A, even applicable to the Congress party, B, at the same time, when you talk about all parties being consulted, the fact is that delimitation exercise is vested completely in the executive. Is it not a fact that these delimitation commission's orders are not even challengeable in a court of law? So it's very different from that's other true. administrative processes. You know, I mean, that's, that's the end true. of the day, that's a fact. And uh, what that's is the logic here? That a 46-year-long delay true. should be further delayed? No, I'll tell you what the logic is. You're right on the part, and Abhijit is right on the part, about the written order. But therefore, to be about a process, Caesar should not just be seen clean. Caesar's wife should be about suspicion. The election commission calls an all-party meeting. Can Abhijit or you show me another example where the election commission made a delimitation, including Jammu and Kashmir, and not called an all-party meeting? Show me another example. Sir, the election commission, the, the election commission's that notification itself, process. if you've read Why it, that it says one. that they will call one. all stakeholders for comments. Where is the election commission or anyone saying that all the stakeholders will not be called? That's a question that yes, continues to remain. All right. Unfortunately, we do not have have enough time on this debate. We'll have to end it right here. But certainly it appears that there's a lot of controversy, a lot of voices that are coming out opposing this delimitation exercise, but the fine print perhaps has not been read in detail. Certainly a historic decision that has been taken and a decision that in fact uh, many say will ensure better representation in the state of Assam where this hasn't happened for 46 long years. Thank you so much gentlemen for joining us on debate number two on the news app.